Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Ray. Check it out, guys. Check out what I got on top of my truck here. Picked up some wood. It's been a while since I built something. Show you guys a how to, how to build something. So I got a project I'm taking on. Let me just show you what I'm doing. All right, come on, come, let's go with me. See up here i got a 16 by 16 foot it's a two by eight on a two by six two by six yeah two by six 16 feet long and i got 10 two by eight 10 feet all right let me show what i'm doing all right guys it's been a while since i pro put a, a how to diy build now you know about a year ago i built this deck by myself with my son absolutely love it. this is my little cigar lounge absolutely love it. it came out great but look what i'm doing now guys all right right here all right i'm pretty sure you guys got some type of wasted space in your yard again so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna build pretty much a miniature of that all right it's gonna be five feet long and say about 16 feet in depth because that's about the size of the shed here so that's what i'm gonna do guys this is wasted space what i'm gonna do is just put a little platform deck here that i can put pretty much storage area put my bikes or whatever garbage cans whatever i need to put back here that i don't need to be seen from the yard area especially when i'm having parties this is what this area is going to be about all right i've been wanting to do this for a while and it's about time for me to get it done any questions any comments leave it below and that's pretty much it guys all right uh, i'm gonna utilize these blocks all right i have a bunch of these blocks i kind of did overkill so what i'm gonna do like these two in the front here and i have two in the back i'm gonna lift this up take those blocks because it's not really needed it was really overkill when i built this like i built overkill that one with the blocks so i'm gonna take the blocks that i can compromise they're not compromise but i can use which is this from here to build my raid platform from here so enough of me talking about it let's just get into it like subscribe and let's go Pretty much this is just a rough setup on what I'm doing. All right, I got my weed barrier down. I just threw some scrap decking I had laying around just to keep it down. All right, so the wind doesn't pick it up. So my plan is use four blocks as my base. And what we're gonna do, once I got this leveled to the, the shed floor on this side here, then I'll tie it in. I'll end up bringing my cross members tied into exist to existing shed to that base over there. So that's the idea I'm going with. Four blocks is more than enough. This is just a little deck so I can put arbitrary things that I don't want on my deck or on my um, utility patio. I didn't level anything out yet. I just want to get a rough idea on how I'm going to set it up. I bought leveling base. So each block 
I will pack it down the foundation, then put the leveling base on top of the fabric and get that leveled all across the board. All right, so that's how I'm approaching it. I'm not setting up any type of leveling lines, what have you. I'm just doing this freestyle. All right, pretty much. Uh, I'll get a level. Once I get it leveled to both here and here, then I'll, I'll start fine tuning it. All right, so that's my idea. And we're just going to keep it moving. Okay, guys, next step I'm doing now. Now I'm hooking up a line. All right. Some people say you should have done this beginning, but I didn't feel like doing it. So what I end up doing, I end up tying the line to the existing floor, bottom of the floor of the shed. All right. Once I got that nice and tight up there, came out with my little leveling line to tell me where is the bottom of this floor so I can match it here to the bottom of this floor. That's giving me a level a level floor or playing field with the floor, right? So that's the idea. So as you can see at the line here, I have to come up a little more, half an inch probably. So that's where my leveling base will come in play now. So what I'm gonna do now, I got this settled here. I'm gonna throw some leveling base here to bring up this end. And once I get this end level to that line, then I can start, well, at the same time, I have my level here. When this is level to that line, I'll just follow that level line all the way down to the other end to get this to get this whole beam leveled. That's how I'm, I'm doing it. I'm pretty sure you're gonna get a lot of people telling how they would do it, but this is my video and I'm doing it my way. <laughs> all right, so, all right. So that's what I'm doing now, guys, uh, to get that done. So let me get my leveling base, throw this in down so I could get that leveled out. Once that leveled, it turns out I'm gonna have a five inch, a five foot span, all right, from here to the face of this, all right? So once I get that leveled, then I'll start with my first piece and attach in here. But before then, I have to remove this part here, so. Stay tuned and I'll show you how I'm gonna get that done to remove this because the idea is to tie in to the to this and then that'll be attached to that. Alright? Alright guys, let me show you what's going on. Update you what's going on here. Alright, again, I put a line out indicating the bottom half of here is now level there. Okay, I came all the way across and make sure I got my bricks all lined up. Again, checked on this side, make sure that end and that end, oh, me. that end is level. All right, so that's my level. So right now, what I'm gonna do now, I'm cutting my joists from here to there, 16 feet long. All right, so they'll be 16 feet long. And then once it's cut, then I bring it back, make sure everything's level on the foundation blocks in relation to the shed, all right? Once those two things are leveled that uh, horizontally and vertically, then that section will be done, all right? And the rest will go pretty much e much easier. Hope that makes sense to you. And let me just keep it moving, all right? Finish getting this leveled. All right, one, two, three, four. More than enough to support this. What I did again, like I built the deck over there, I got that leveled there again. Then I came over here and built this up with some leveling base. So once I got that, the, both corners leveled, I just backfilled with the bricks. All right, to keep everything leveled. So that's how I did it. All right, I'm pretty sure there's other techniques to get it done, but I just found that much easier for me to do it in my skill set. All right, so that's done. Next thing I have to do is now I'm gonna join 
the joist is from here to here. When we're starting that corner first, attach it here. Then once I get that leveled, then I'll come over here and do it over here. Get this leveled. And that's it, you know, just step by step. Pretty much what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna join it up to the cut where it cuts right here. They have one, two, three, four. Get those all connected first because they'll be nice and leveled and everything else will build off of that. So I hope that makes sense to you guys. It makes sense to me, and that's how I'm gonna do it. Alright? So stand by, we're running daylight, so I'm gonna pick this up tomorrow and continue on, alright? Okay guys, so let me explain to you what I'm doing here. All right, as you see, I had to remove the first siding off. Now, to, to get the siding off, because you're gonna have to reuse it, you need a, a, a certain tool. All right, so right here, you need a side swiper, number two or something related. This is the more popular one. What it does, allows you to get underneath that track, disengage it and, you know, disengage it over here all right because it, it attaches it and uh they be able to take it off now this is my starter strip all right when you put up side in you got to put a starter strip and that's what it is it it, it starts is what it is it's a starter strip that when you put, first put on your your side in it's level and everything else goes follow this pretty much this strip this sets the foundation i had to remove this all right because when I initially built this shed, I came down like a half an inch to start my starter shit, um, starter row, because I want to make sure that water, when it hit it, it drained past the framing and past a little below the joints of this uh, base here. So I had to remove that because again, the idea is to use these joists and attach it to the existing joists like this. And as you can see, I had, that is definitely blocking me. So for me to make sure I got a good connection, this one has to come off. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna butt up against it. Now, me doing that, I realized when I tr initially made my, um, built this, no, that's fine. As you see, I, I put the, the va vapor barrier and that's pretty much, I gotta make sure I push all the way up so I have it flush to this. Now, also, when I built it, I overlapped it a bit, again, to help with moisture, not get into the building or the shed. So, as you can see, it comes out, say, another quarter of an inch, and that's when you're building your walls. So, it's going to butt against that, so I'm going to have to notch out my joist just to get it to fit in here. So, which is not a big deal, again, it's not a, much, a lot of weight going to be getting on, on this, but this is what you have to go through if you want to build a deck to existing foundation. Okay guys, let me update you what's going on. I had to scrap my whole plans, how I was going along. Not scrap it, but modify it. Okay, the, the line, level line that I set up earlier was not working too well for me because I didn't count for the overlap of the sheet on this. All right, so I had to count for that and I don't remember the gap I have between here. So I had to figure that out. Um, thus, bringing down my joys further down. So, and, and on top of that, on this side, I have two sheets up here. One is lower than the other. So I had to find out the lowest point and start there, which was at that corner. So once I got that corner there and this, these two sides set up, then everything else, the other two, has to match these two, as in how far they come down. Hope that makes sense to you. That's what I had to figure out. I got it to a certain point that I believe I can work with it. And that's pretty much it. So I started at this end, 
got the joist. And what I'm doing as I go along, being that now I have to adjust for this, this board has to come down lower. So I have to modify that. So I have to pick this up, redig a, a trench for each hole, and backfill it to get it proper, to get the proper leveling. If you I hope that makes sense to you, all right? So it's level from here to there. Now I'm working on getting it level from here to here. And I'm just going along for each one. All right. It's probably the long way to do it. But again, I'm by myself. And it, this is the way in my skill set I'm able to figure it out. So now I got this one leveled that away. And going this one and that one is leveled together. And now I'm for the next one. Each one will build on the next one and get the level. And once I get all four leveled, which are the main ones, then I can backfill the other two joists in there. There'll be two in here, two and two, giving the proper spacing. So I hope that makes sense to you because it doesn't make sense to me. No, it does. All right, and that's pretty much it, guys. All right, so I just want to update you on how I'm figuring this all out. So I got one, two, and also, being I did have an overlap, I had to notch this so it'll fit close to it. So when I go back and put the sheathing on, I just have to cut a notch for it. Initially, I thought I would have to move the whole siding and start all over, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna notch it where they come in contact and that'll be fine. So I hope that makes sense to you. I'm gonna put this back on a time lapse and continue on. I got the foundation done all right got the four pillars down or foundation blocks here yeah everything's leveled leveled and also squared all right now to get it to squared because you know I had to do it one by one having let me show you what I have here Hold on, guys. Two picks. these little square prefab all right, I must have for a DIY. All right, I'll put a link below for this particular model. What I like about it, I can screw it into the joist to, leave, to make sure it's in one spot and then manipulate it so I can get everything nice and square and then come and tack it in, screw it in, okay? So that's in, got the foundation nice and secured. So now, since everything is now leveled here and there, now I can backfill with the rest of the joists. All right, all right. So I'm losing light. So what I'll do, I'll continue this the next day. All right, so stay with me and we'll keep it moving.